Hello, followers of my YouTube channel. Welcome to today's tutorial. Okay, so uh, in the previous uh, this SWAT QSWAT tutorials, we have seen uh, uh, different uh, technical aspects when we are delineating a watershed and uh, when we are working with the chariot analysis and when we are providing. Uh, available input data and finally we have uh, visualized run our model as well as we have seen about uh, calibration methods yeah? and um, today we will see about uh, crop management yeah crop management practices how to add a crop management practice for instance uh, if you have an, uh, an irrigation practice on an area so this irrigation practice may affect the stream flow as well as the groundwater parameters in the desert yeah so therefore in order to detect those uh, the change the changes of those parameters due to the applications of irrigation so we should have to add uh, 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 this crop management practice so uh, for today's tutorial we have uh, a sample this uh, table actually we have a crop management data for TAF, corn and uh, millet of the robot watershed that is uh, that is uh, this uh, this watershed is actually uh, what we have practiced in the last QSO tutorials therefore for the case of uh, TAF, um, the field is delayed four times Actually, the first stage is on May 1, the second stage is on May 30, and the third one is on June 30, and the last delay practice is on uh, July 22. And the first applications of uh, urea is on the same day of uh, this July 22. On July 20, uh, 22, we have uh, delay practice as well as application of fertilizers, this is the DAP as well as urea and uh, we have also planted our uh, crop on the same day and uh, on august 2022 uh, we have uh, the second stage of uh, applications of urea yeah and uh, finally we have uh, uh, harvest and killing stage on Dece december 5 therefore uh, in a similar way in a similar way for the rest of uh, uh, the irrigation practices we can add uh, and see the effects yeah the effects on uh, our irrigation um, on, uh, on our surface uh, runoff and for the case of corn for instance you have seen actually this one is also delay practice on May 1 yeah for the case of corn uh, the irrigation practice is I mean the delay is three times yeah and we have uh, uh, similarly there is uh, application of fertilizers DAP and urea planting it in the second stage of urea application in the harvest and killing uh, uh, a stage yeah so we have those parameters in order to do this crop management yeah in a SWAT okay so uh, in order to do this uh, irrigation management practice we have actually this uh, the SWAT model and you can have uh, should have to uh, uh, open this SWAT editor for the case of QSWAT and actually for the case of SWAT you can go to this uh, uh, this SWAT editor input simply no need of this SWAT editor okay so we can work on that and the first step here is you should have to connect your database yep uh, so click on OK and after that you should have to proceed on this uh, edit SWAT input and I would like to edit on the management practice we are working on the management so uh, go to this uh, sub-basin data yeah sub-basin data and under this sub-basin you should have to select this uh, management uh, 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 input tables and we can also select uh, others maybe on the operation you can select this one so uh, let me select the management one and uh, select one of the sub-basin here the land use one of the uh, land use and one of the soil 
as well as the slope and OK. When you are uh, proceeding with this, uh, click on this edit, uh, edit value yep, under general. And we have those uh, parameters for the management. And in order to add the crop management, you should have to proceed to this uh, operation. Yeah, operation. So uh, under this operation, uh, we have an option to add uh, uh, the previous uh, crop management options. Yeah. Therefore, uh, add uh, you can have uh, you can add uh, operation under this. Yes. You have uh, actually you can add here a, a year you can delay the year you can add other operations yeah and uh, delete operation in the like for instance if you add a year in such a way uh, it may uh, looks like in such a way but the, uh, the main thing here is uh, actually we can start by adding an operation yeah okay let me cancel this and uh, let me uh, add an operation for the first one so uh, from this let us uh, select one of uh, the crop to, uh, the crop type yes one of the, for instance let me select the corn yeah let me select the corn and let us uh, provide into the SWAT therefore uh, for this one uh, for instance uh, the first thing here is delay practice we have three uh, we have a tillage three times for the uh, crop corn, sorry. <clears throat> and uh, the first tillage is on May 1, so you should have to provide the date. So the first one is tillage practice, yeah. You should have to know about those things, planting the date, irrigation, fertilizer application. You should have to add also pesticide application here, the harvest and killing stage, yes. Harvest and killing. Harvest only, we have uh, harvest here. So you should have to know about this, uh, those uh, parameter management operation uh, parameters. So the first thing here, here is uh, the tillage practice for the corn. And um, uh, this under this tillage parameter, you should have to select by date because we are uh, working on the daily basis. And uh, on the men's, uh, the first tillage practice is on May uh, 1. Yeah. I hope it's a May one. So this is a May one is a first delay practice, and uh, we can provide in such a way. And the tillage ID here is the type of material that helps for the delay practice. Yeah, and uh, uh, you should have to select the delay practice. Uh, okay, for uh, different countries. Yeah, but for uh, our case, for Ethiopia. Uh, this uh, GCL uh, plow GT15 feet is uh, actually the traditional uh, tillage practice. Uh, uh, I mean the tillage material, yeah, that helps us to tillage. So you should have to select this one for the case of Ethiopia. But uh, other irrigation, I mean the tillage IDs are available, yeah. Uh, those are the uh, others for the case of uh, uh, other uh, countries. Therefore, you should have to say OK here. Now we have added the year. The month here is 5 and uh, the day is 1. And the operation is tillage. Operation. Alright. Additionally, we should have to add uh, the tillage. Yeah. In a similar way. Uh, the second tillage here is uh, on June 1. Yeah. Therefore, uh, on June 1. May June 1. The uh, irrigation, I mean the tillage ID is uh, this one. Similarly, sorry, this one. No. Uh, this one. Say OK. And the uh, third operation here is similarly on, uh, I hope, June 1. That is, June 2 is the last tillage practice. Yeah. That is uh, June 2. You should have to provide Tony and you should have to select uh, the tillage ID here as well. And you can have uh, this one, okay? And the other is um, uh, the other thing here is we have the first application of uh, uh, urea on June 20 in a similar day, 
which is 49 kg per hectare. Therefore, you should have to provide similarly a depression in the fertilizer application. Okay, under this uh, fertilizer ID, you should have to select the button. If there is urea here, and uh, the first application is on uh, same day of the last delay practice, which is June 20. And uh, the fertilizer in kg is, uh, is 49, uh, I mean 49 kg per hectare. So you should have to provide in such a way, okay? And additionally, we should have to provide uh, a dub here, yeah? So uh, in, on the same day, that is on June 20, we should have to provide uh, how much kg? How much kg, which is the 98 kg, yeah? 98 kg of DAP is provided and the uh, fertilizer ID for the case of DAP is uh, you can have uh, under this you have you have seen that 184600 this is actually the ID for the DAP yes so for the case of DAP you should have to select 184600 uh, so you should have to uh, provide this one and say okay so we have provided the telepractice the fertilizer application uh, and uh, what is remaining here is you should have to add the plant yeah plant grows season uh, the planting uh, we should have to plant on the same day here so uh, on the June 20 we should have to uh, plant our agriculture uh, I mean our crop the crop type is uh, corn actually you can select here you can have this one corn so um, when you are selecting it you, sh you should have obtained the heat units and maternity and the like but you can you can have uh, uh, some uh, 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 statistical problems you know I mean statistical techniques in order to determine the heat unit maternity for different crops and should have to provide that so for this case let, uh, let us say okay and um, after we have planting uh, our crops on August 1 we should add uh, urea uh, uh, yeah the second stage of urea application yeah so go to here uh, add operation fertilizer application yeah and okay uh, we have pro uh, we, uh, we want to add uh, second your application on August 1 yes and I uh, should have uh, to provide the similar kg that is 49 kg all right so okay and, um, and the other thing here is what is remaining harvesting and killing stage we can harvest and kill on October 25. Actually, you can have uh, uh, planting date of tyranny, tyranny up to uh, October 25. Uh, from uh, you can see the grow uh, the stages, the stages of this uh, crop, the corn. So um, in a similar way, we can add the harvest and killing stage here. Say okay here. And um, uh, actually this demand is on October uh, 25 yeah October 25 and uh, you can uh, leave this and say okay so we have provided you see when we are adding the crop we have the corn we have uh, the year year one actually those are the menses and those are the dice when we are uh, uh, conducting clay practice planting fertilizer application in harvest and killing operations so actually we have provided um, uh, sufficient information about this crop yeah so uh, after that you should have to uh, go to this extended it to selected HRUs and uh, make take care of uh, here yeah take care under this uh, so uh, under after you have uh, saying this extend edit to selected HRUs the sub basin here is all sub basins but the land is land cover is you should have to select the agricultural land because we are working on 
uh, this agricultural land is we are working or applying irrigation on the agricultural land so therefore you should have to select the land which is the agricultural land and the soil type is all soil types the slope is all uh, slope but the difference here is you should have to uh, select the land use is agricultural land okay so after that after selecting this you should have to save okay so if you come back to this uh, sort management and say okay so if you proceed with this operation so we have this one okay so the provided information for the corn so after that after you have saved this uh, you can uh, rerun your uh, SWAT and check the uh, influence on the different uh, hydrological cycles for the surface runoff for the evaporation for instance and for the case of uh, uh, this uh, groundwater and the likes so if you have an irrigation practice for our water in our watershed so we have a uh, low surface runoff I hope we expected that the surface runoff uh, reduces and uh, the groundwater recharge increases yeah so you should have to analyze uh, such things uh, by doing such uh, crop management practices in SWAT and I hope this tutorial uh, will help and assist you to work on the effects of uh, irrigation practice on stream flow actually on surface runoff as that means and for the groundwater and the other hydrological parameters and I hope you have uh, uh, obtained uh, some new insight from this uh, sweat yep and thank you for your time and don't forget to uh, share and subscribe uh, my youtube channel have a nice time bye